this week on the Flying Marmot. A massive Manitoban snake surprise, a boisterous bread, and a miniature marmot's mammalian malaise. Marmoteers, Mini Mervit and I are in Moose Jaw with the moose that has the jaw, I guess. Four stars? We got some snakes waking up for the year. Oh, Snake, close in... up. Here we have pit number two. Not quite so many snakes in pit number two. But there are a few. And the mini marmot is not super keen on them, but she's not against them. She just doesn't care. Snake racer. Oh, snake racer's coming to me. Where are you going? What's your plan, little snake? Oh, back away you go. Den number three, also a little quiet. Den number one is the winner so far. Snake knot. Fourth and final snake den. We got some snakes. So many snakes. Snake, 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 snake. We got giant snakes and a mini marmot. Well, let's see if they're hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually feed you to them. We're here in the Dead River Pathway system. Pretty well all ferns. Waiting for a dinosaur to peek through of the non-avian variety. To the mini marmot, this is an insurmountable obstacle. Come on. Get over there. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it, I believe. Nope, it's as far as she can go. So, marmoteers, what makes a person strong? I don't know, that's all metaphysical and stuff. However, what is strong? Thai peppers are strong, ginger is strong, black pepper is strong, meat, meat is strong. So, we're going to combine some meat stock and all those other things and some flaxseed for those healthy omega-3s and we are going to make hearty marmot morning loaf. Will it be any good? Well, that's up to me and the work crew to find out. Marmoteers, even the yeast gets an extra burst of energy from Marmot Morning Bread. Now there's a bread that's ready to do someone in. Never let it be said that I won't inflict this sort of thing on myself. Uh, it being 2.08, I fear I've already failed on one count of the mighty Marmot Morning Bread, but I'm sure it'll still be good for consumption come tomorrow morning. So, let's dig in. Mm. There's a nice savory hint from the stock. Mm, the pepper and the ginger aren't quite as in your face as you might think. But that heat is already starting to build after one bite. Yeah, you can tell that pepper's in there. Hmm. This will probably be really nice with the barbecue tomorrow, actually. And the heat sits firmly at notable but not insane, which is a good place for it. So all in all, I'd actually call this a pretty decent experiment. Uh, I'd say I might want to cook the stock down a little bit next time, but um, it's all at three and a half stars or so. Uh, less if you don't like spice, more if you do. Is it mini marmot? She's having a fine old time on the back of Ms. Marmot. But watch what happens when she sees an animal. Up we come, and there's the animal. What happens, Mini Marmot? Let's look over and see. Oh no! It's an animal, the worst. 
next week on The Flying Marmot, What Can We See by Laser Light?